Yeah, that's just something I saw on Twitter today, where apparently if you have an, an Amazon device without saying her name, mm-hmm. um, hey lady, that mm-hmm. hey lady, get on get on the A train, um, that and you're opted in. That this is the issue. I, I don't necessarily have an issue with what they're doing. I have an issue with opt in. Mm-hmm. So you are opted in, and unless you go in and say no, don't do this you're going to be used. So it's, it takes a little bit of your Wi-Fi, a little bit of your data from your Amazon device and lets people just who are close by kind of siphon off a little bit if you need it. Mm-hmm. And so your neighbor ring, let's say the ring doorbell needs a little extra internet boost or something. And, but your internet's stronger. So it'll just, you, your a device will kind of say, oh, you need it here. Take a little bit. Now they do ca- the speeds very slow, so you can't really say I'm going to video stream off of it, you know, off my neighbor's um, sidewalk. But it's a matter of, you know, it's like, it, like I said, if they would have said, "Oh, this is this thing, and this is how you can help people out," and all you gotta do is check this box to opt into it, and but it's more of a oh it's on unless you want to turn it off and, and it's about like you know potentially you could have a device set it up someplace in the city and you're going to have you know um you know amazon devices sidewalk devices nearby that they can mm-hmm. just pick up the internet and go um also this is things like trackers will pick up on something like this um and we're talking and we're literally talking about like the 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 you know the the uh, echo devices in your house would be broadcasting enough. It, it, it sounds a little bit like how if you have an Xfinity um, uh, router, you're automatically kind of have a guest account that anybody with a Comcast account can log into, right? It, it's right, like that, right. but it automatically happens amongst uh, sidewalk compatible devices, secure, et cetera, et cetera, just like the Air Tags, uh, quote unquote, mesh network that that works on everybody's iPhone that they're carrying around, right? So, 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 and I agree with the opt-in, but I bet we already opted in when we hit that uh, TOS at the beginning, right? Oh, you did. I mean, yeah. obviously. So, yeah. yeah. So, so, so you don't have an you don't have an option. You have an option to go in there and go into your app settings, yes. go into more, go into settings, and then turn off Amazon si- uh, Sidewalk. But unless you actually do that, Absolutely. you're you're opted in. So mm-hmm. Rob, you brought this on up to talk about it. So I imagine you have thoughts on it. Yeah, I mean, uh, part of it is just kind of like a public service announcement. Um, if you are, if you have an uh, Amazon device, chances are uh, the little slider is um, in 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 a position that means you're going to share your internet with your neighbors, and maybe you don't care about that. Maybe you have all the internet in the world, and uh, you just want to let it go, and that's totally fine. Um, if you have uh, a Amazon Dingus, uh, for the sake of being in, uh, informational, uh, you open the Alexa app, uh, you go down to more, hit settings, uh, then you go to account settings, then you go to Amazon Sidewalk, and it'll say, coming soon, Amazon Sidewalk. Um, and it's probably green, and you want to tap the little thing and uh, make it gray. Another thing, uh, also directly related, if you have the latest iOS update, I'm going to pull it up on my phone so I can provide some kind of direction here. Um, If you go to settings, privacy, there's now tracking. uh, And there's a little thing that says allow apps to request to track. Um, If you have that in the gray, uh, it protects your privacy. If it is green, it means that apps can request to share data between each other um, you know, all, all in the interest of ads and that kind of thing. But if you're a, a, a privacy person, uh, that's something you might want to look into to decide if you want to opt into that or not. Um, so there's privacy concerns. The interesting thing about Amazon Sidewalk to me, if you want to like follow it down the rabbit hole, is it's like, okay, well, why, why is Amazon doing this? Well, because they want people to use their devices. Um, they want to gather as much data as possible, which they do through their devices. Uh, so they can sell you more things. And they've found that because, especially in the United States, we have really terrible broadband standards. So there's a lot of people who want to use these devices and can't or uh, are, are using these devices, but they're not using them nearly as much as Amazon would like. 
because they have poor broadband. Mm. So what do we do? We share this as a co-op. Okay, cool. Co-ops are, are useful in a lot of socioeconomic ways. Um, but then it's you, you, because we are paying for our broadband and we pay what we feel is, uh, you know, a good chunk of change for our broadband for something that we are beginning to scrape the, the issue of um, internet access being uh, a fundamental, kind of like a fundamental right, you know, you should, uh, especially with COVID and people working from home and children going to school from home, it has become more, more of an issue where it's like, well, everyone should have internet access, right? How do you provide internet access to everyone? Mm, turn everybody's Amazon devices into hotspots effectively, creating a forced municipal network? Well, driven by capitalism, yes. Privacy <laughs> issues, yes. Serving the general good? Not necessarily, but like yeah. all of these things are related because the knee-jerk reaction for most people is not is not the uh the like heightened privacy concern of like i know you say your security is good but what if it's not yeah uh yeah it's i'm paying for this because we're good americans we like our private property i'm paying for this and i don't want bob next door using 30 percent of what i'm paying for because he happens to live next door to me how do you feel about that if you're not paying for it and it's just a provided service back to that municipal internet thing yeah yeah um if we all share this load, do we care as much about our devices wanting to share the load, right? It's, it's, a, it's a very interesting uh, rabbit hole to dive down. Uh, and I think we're definitely, as the need for this kind of thing increases, you're gonna see a lot more things like the Comcast thing, things like Amazon Sidewalk, um, while we're simultaneously fighting this fight of everyone should have access to the internet and the internet should remain neutral and all all the rest of pandora's <laughs> box that you can get into there yeah why is that get that not getting brought that not getting brought up in all the uh all the congressional hearings that we're, that we're hearing about right now right um mm -hmm. yeah and comparatively i mean this is something i have a box here right under this desk uh with pit mesh meta mesh here in town and they're doing something like that where you buy a device and, and you know, businesses, homes have it. I share a portion of my internet and then I can throttle that. I think I limit it to like like five megs or something, right? And I have like one fifty on BIOS. So and ideally maybe the barbershop next door and the grocery the taco stand across the street and the the church over here, and it starts becoming like a bigger thing that shares out more again, and then it's accessibility for everybody that doesn't have internet. They don't all have to go down the library. Especially since mm -hmm. they couldn't over the last year, right? So, but again, that's something bought, that's something configured, that's something that I know, like, literally, like, my mom's in the chat room asking, is mine okay? Well, she lives in the middle of nowhere. I don't know who's going to take, th take that on except for the Amazon truck that, that uh, the dogs terrorize when they pull up her driveway uh, yesterday. But because uh, I think those are also potentially taking some telemetry off of, like, Amazon devices or something, too, I thought I heard. I, that's all speculation at this point, probably. Um, it feels like... That movie where everybody got sold the, you know, bad guy tech company phone, and and it turns out it's going to get turned on, and now everybody's uh, cell phone turned into a tracker, or turned into this, or turned into the thing that's going to end the world, you know, <laughs> um, you know that we've seen in, in in you know movies and cartoons. So, but uh, but yeah, it, it it is it's it's. It comp I mean, the same thing happened with our phones, right? Because we kind of got Trojan horse in this idea of, hey, that phone that all of you guys are, 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 are carrying around, um, they're going to help other people's air trackers, air tag trackers that we just released. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just kind of like, this is, yeah. this is a decision we've made for the greater good. Yeah. Uh, your, your phone that you paid for and pay every month for is going to do yeah. this to help other people out that you have nothing to do with. So, yeah. but aren't we, you know, it, it's that kind of thing. You know, altruistically is great. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, you know, of course, wait for the first time that there's an Amazon, you know, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, do we feel safe with the Amazon key thing that lets you walk into my house and deliver my groceries? No, no, not even a little no, bit. No, <laughs> not even a little no, bit. And no. now you just told me you just, you just turn every, my two or three Amazon devices into internet for anybody that wants it. Uh, I don't know about that guys you know so um i mean it's, it's one thing if you know about it but uh you know if you kick the, if you kick that on in my business and i'm you know streaming all the stuff i'm here and i'm bandwidth sensitive and it starts like pulling a, like too much load 
And like I'm calling Fios and say, "What's happened to my bandwidth?" And it's like this device on this address. And I'm like, "What the hell? What the hell is my little a lady doing?" <laughs> you know, it's not playing video. It's a little tube. So, but anyways, uh, awesome thing. Hopefully, not a bad thing. If you're concerned, you can. I believe the article we link that we're going to link that uh, you put in here, Dave. Uh, of course, you you detailed um, how to do that. We just talked about it, but that that um, that article does also detail how you want to yeah. turn that off if you are concerned well, yeah. about it. Uh, my, yeah, that's where that's where I got the instructions from. My mother, I got right from the article. Who yeah. lives in the middle of nowhere? You're probably okay. <laughs> you yeah. know, you're, yeah, I'd I, I'd be less concerned than than me, where my next neighbor is 20 feet away from me. You know, so or an apartment complex or something like that, or my front street here you know, on, on Broadway. So, but anyway, yeah, it's, it's really interesting to think about the implications of this in a, um, in like an apartment building or something where there's one of these things in, you know, 50 units all within reach of each other. Yeah. You end up with yeah. an incredibly strong mesh network, which is great. Um, I still, but... <laughs> I still remember a friends of mine, they got the lamp iMac and they were, they had a place down in the South side. I just off of, like, like, you know, half a block off of Carson street. And then like, they're like, they're like, yeah, Hey, this is great. I'm like, cool. Where are you getting your internet from? And they're like, we don't know. We just have it. Yep. Same thing happened with somebody that was uh, watching stuff on his laptop in Brooklyn that we we're staying with one time. And I was like, I was like, so you got you, so you're getting, and he, by the way, he's like a, a former professional wrestler, current MMA guy at the time. And it was like, I was like, so where are you getting your internet from? And he's like, oh, it's just, you know, got it from this. Oh, so you're not paying for it. It's like, are you assuming that I'm stealing this? And it got really awkward really quick. <laughs> so it got very awkward very quick. So sorry, Tony Mamalik. Uh, so <laughs> um, anyways, well, now that we've scared the crap out of my mom, I think it's, <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> 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 